Okay, so I believe we're going to go see the, uh, the detective guy, yeah, meet the detective chase, meet with detective chase. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... This was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there... There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when Quiet he suddenly boy. got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. That's all I need for now. Cry boy! Cry boy! Ah! Right. Frame rate is terrible. Holy hell. This frame rate is not good. First time going over to this side of town. If I pause the game and... Nope. The frame rate's still like this for some reason. my god look at the frame rate <laughs> yeah oh man Eliza is so hot you're crazy Mia Shia and he's what is the radio on this side of town oh please you can't actually believe the purity first is really This frame rate is insanely bad. I'm going to save it. And the frame rate's kind of gone back to normal. Sort of.
I believe, in here. Actually... I obviously need to get over this fence to get to that alleyway. I think I might be able to drop a few crates here to get over. Sometimes there's stuff in the trash cans. As you can see, I mean, this is 2027, and the cars look pretty realistic, I'd say, for the year. I mean, it's not like those games where it's like, oh, five years later, and we have flying cars and everything. But no, this game, I think, keeps it realistic enough. Can I jump this? There we go. I need to save it again. I don't want to get stuck or um, spotted. Cut one. I know I got the code, but I'm going to hack it to get some experience points. South Industries Incident Report. Incident terrorist attack on South Industries. Confused witness. Hmm. Uh. Incident report. Subjects. Attackers are definitely professionals. Autopsy report, Megan Reed. She was 32. Uh, blood type O+. Plus. Final diagnosis. Vertebrae industries. Vertebrae and neck area are displaced. Abrasion of the bones consistent with severe and sudden stress of pressure. Abrasions found in neck area, hard to clarify. Clearly verified due to severe burns, but throat seems crushed. Severe burns, extremely severe burns covering the entire of the body. Acceler accelerant residue has been sent to Gemlag for analyze, for analyzation or analyze, or analyze. Absence of fumes, residue, and ash in lungs indicate burns are post mortem. Toxic. Toxic, toxicology. This game is using words that I it's too high for me. Blood, aphenol, none detected. Blood, drug, scream, no drug detected. Cause of death was quick. Intense snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with a crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. There's fireworks going off outside. Bloody kids, bloody fireworks. Right. Incident report. Probable, probable, the probable use of identified high-tech compound. Mm. Keypad. <clears throat> Sadness. Access 
scratch. Megan read lab notes. Said she betrayed someone she respected for the sake of her research. Oh dear. Bracelet. Well, that's that. Alright. We get back over, I need a couple of boxes, couple of crates. Enough, I think. Uh, oh dear. Let's get one more. Actually, what's up there? Actually, I think I can go in here. Actually, I believe we can get up there and get in the police station the back way. So we found a hidden entrance to police station. Lots of, lots of um, uh, hidden ways to go. Lots of uh, tons of ways to get into the police station. I believe the first time I did this, I just like killed everyone because <laughs> that was the only way I knew it. I'd do it. I can make the analog sticks row really loudly. <laughs> when the ventilation system. Alright. Fireworks. Where are we? Alright. Who's fooling around? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They heard me. Come out now. Looks like it was nothing. Yes, it was nothing. Maybe long hours. Go about that. But I can't trust you, please. I think if you get the alarmed, you don't get the the ghost bonus, which is silly. You should only not get the ghost bonus if you get hostile, I think. They technically didn't even see me, so I'm going... Let's go in here. Shit, that freaking shit! I'm hostile. No, reload. Loading, loading, loading. Reload. 
it wouldn't be I wouldn't bother me mind too much. Well, I don't I don't really care about having to load back because I don't mind. It's just that the long loading times. I wouldn't bother. I would wouldn't bother at all then if I had to load back. See, the loading times are still quite long. This game, this game, I'd say this game, you could, if, if you take your time, and you explore everything, you can get so much time out of this game. Or you can literally just play through it, and beat it in like 10 hours. <laughs> if you want to beat it quickly. But I'm going to save here, so I don't have to go load that again. Get in here, let's get in here quickly. Access granted. Close the door. Oof, yeah, there's a vent in here, so I think I can get in there. Guy over there, and he's coming this way. We're getting cover just in case he can see me through the window while I'm hacking the computer. There he is. See, he would have looked in, he would have saw me. Let's hack it quick. Oh dear God, this is a G. Okay, this is a whoa. Oh, what is going on with this? Access grant. Alright, we found. So now what you do is, you go back out. I go out. Then I go back down to the front of the police station, and then there's a guy in there. 
Because if you don't, uh, if you don't go to that office before you talk to the guy, you don't have any evidence against him. the weapon away when I first played this game it wasn't what I expected it to be I thought it was gonna be much more RPG than uh... Jensen I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues a detective Alexander? Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. That's another side mission. Right, so here we are. See, you know, the side missions are... The side missions are like kind of main missions in a way. But... They're much, the side missions are much more meaningful, I guess. Than in other games. They're not, they're not like, oh, go find this guy's... I don't know. Gun. <laughs> go find this guy's... Lost... Credit chip. It's... Uh, stuff that adds onto the story. Here he is. Here he, here he is. He's right here. Yeah. What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha. And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT. So I guess we both keep on dreaming, huh, Metalhead? I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me. Is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but... Mainly, it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Now, that being All said... Right. I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here. Hey, how are Mr. Taggart went on to express no, his... No, so no, now no, what? No, no, no. I need to go up there. 
Okay, I can't go up there yet. Listen, I can't promise anything. Okay, so this. Okay. It's a little bit awkward. Not right now. So, we need to go up there. I don't know what's up there. Okay, let's check my quest map. Okay. I need to go to the select second floor. Let's go to the second floor, apparently. So, what we're going to do is, this guy here, he's actually part of the main mission to get to down there. And you can talk to him, and you can, uh, and he'll, he'll let you in if you talk to him right. So, let's try and do that now. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tuvik precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Crush. Absolve. Bleed. Crush. Plead. All right, that was a cheap shot. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting you here, and I can't deal with our past right now. I know it's a risk for you, but I really do need to get into that morgue. Oh, jeez, Jensen. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. That's good to hear. It all comes back to the kid, doesn't it? We were given a direct order, Jensen. So I took the shot. I followed orders. He was augmented, an unknown factor. He was too much of a risk. We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself or you'll never put it behind you. I know. It's just so hard. What happened wasn't my fault. You were in command, but when they told you to take the shot, you refused. So they told me. You and I, we were trained to follow orders, Jensen. I couldn't say no. I wasn't strong enough. Adam, please. I need to hear you say it wasn't my fault. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while. Hey, how are you? I don't know. I heard there was a demonstration at the main place. So that is how you get into the morgue itself. Uh, that's how you get into the police station. And that's actually a pretty hard uh, bell conversation. It's a pretty good conversation. I like that. Um, pretty good dialogue. You started on that liberal crap. Alright, get in now. <coughs> I know, we need to go up to there. I'm not sure how much access we got. I know I can get into the morgue. But I don't know how much. Let's go floor 2. 
Are we allowed up here? It's, on the map it says they're all friendly, but this is locked. There is a vent in there, as you can see. Is there a vent in there? Uh, I'm not allowed in there, so restricted access. Hmm. I need to get in there. Alright, we're gonna hack it. Access granted. Alright. Need to uh, return to Cassandra. Need to return to the mother. Chip. What is this? A laser system. I'm gonna save. So remember to save. Always remember to save every two seconds. Turn the lasers off, don't know what that does. I think that turns the lasers off for the armory if you want to get in there. As you can see, you could move this if I had a uh, stronger, if I was stronger, but I'm not. Uh, I don't know if there's anything behind there or not. The thing is, if, if I'm not going to spoil anything, so. Don't panic. If you if you're just watching this as a video series, that's why I play for the game. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I do know what happens at the end of the game. <laughs> but I haven't pl I haven't played through the DLC, so that will be my first time playing the DLC. And the DLC, I believe, is quite long. It's like six to eight hours. So it's a pretty decent length for, uh, for an add-on. Alright, where is the right way? Go through up here. Okay. 
I quite like the hub world. There's a few hubs. I guess, I mean... Where am I going, actually? There's... I mean, I guess you can count this like, kind of like a hub world. It's not open world. Well, I wouldn't classify it as open world. But... I think I'd classify it more as like a hub. You going the right way? Are we going the wrong? Hang on a minute. Let me check the map. It's all the way over here. I'm trying to look for it. Right, I'm going the wrong way. Booger. It is back through there. Right. I went the wrong way, god damn it. I don't know. Well, actually, I'm not going to say anything. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> I never let T-Boss be booking me with no cock. I find him nasty. This is actually your apartment. Your apartment's up here. Um, but there's like the, uh, what do you call it? The reception office, the reception area. This is where the mother is. Alright, here she is. Did you ask me? Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our intellicams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god. God, Megan, what do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. Uh... 
I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's my problem. Here's my problem here. I'm a very honest person. So if this was me, I would just say that one. Her neck was snapped and her body was burned. But, obviously, that's really quite nasty. And the game's... What the game's trying to say is that's quite a nasty thing to say. But in my opinion, I think that's honest and you should say that. But, but she did... I mean, she didn't snuff suffer, did she? she was, well, she was killed instantly, so she didn't suffer. Fair enough, her body was burned, but... Um, uh, la, 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 la. She's like, oh, tell me then, hurry up. Oh, I'm just going to blah, 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 I'm going to say this one. I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. All right. Motherly ties, and that is the end of Side Mission 3, and, uh, yeah.